All right, so hopping right into it. Let's start off with a $10 bill from 2004. All right, so this Federal Reserve note here has a misalignment error. Now, when you're looking at it, you don't really probably notice something right off the bat, maybe. If we look to the right here on the bill, you can see that there's two different green seals, and you can definitely tell that they are on uh, the wrong part of the bill. They're misaligned. It's supposed to be in the middle there, Oh, where it says 10 so that's uh, one error there to look for here on the back looks pretty normal this $10 bill sold for over $1,400 $1,400 now for this $20 bill we have the same type of error well not a misalignment error but a missing treasury seal error taking place here so the whole seal is missing. We don't even have a misaligned seal here. It just doesn't have one at all. So this is a 2004 $20 bill, and this $20 bill sold for over $450. 450 US dollars. This is a really cool type of error. Now this was very noticeable type of error. So if someone found this in their wallet, obviously they would take it out very very quickly now this is an obstructed printing error so basically the seal and the serial number were both imparted to both the brown craft paper here that we could see here on the front and the masking tape so you can see the masking tape there on the front as well and then it wraps around here to the back of the bill you can actually see that the serial number and the seal is printed over it so that is a very very unique type of error that would take place when these bills are being produced. So this $1 bill here sold for over 4,000 US dollars, $4,000. Now for this $20 bill, obviously this is very obvious. You will never see a blue seal on the newer bills like this. And that is a third print color error taking place. Obviously those are supposed to be different colors, not blue <laughs> this 2001 20 dollars bill sold for over four thousand dollars as well a four thousand dollar bill now this one's really cool this is a one dollar bill now if you guys don't flip over your bills and you never really look for them you may miss something like this even though it's pretty noticeable now it is a multiple impression error taking place here on the reverse of the bill you can see that the front of the bill looks very normal looks very uh new and crisp and clean and then here on the reverse we see that error it's the design of the front of the bill the one dollar bill going through the back and we actually see that uh, going in a diagonal so you actually get three different prints there that are going across the bill there which is really cool so this 2001 one dollar bill sold for over fourteen hundred dollars again one thousand four hundred dollars now here's a 1996 twenty dollar bill you can see it looks like uh, it's missing a bunch of ink and that's because it is missing the magnetic ink on the bill so this $20 bill sold for over $1,000 here's another $20 bill like I said very noticeable type of error you don't see nothing here on the front but here on the reverse we see that misalignment error so this can be you know major sometimes there are minor misalignments but this one's pretty major here as you can see here in the image display this $20 bill sold for over $480 now here is a similar type of uh, error taking place, similar to the one that we just looked at. You can see the design of the reverse design of the bill going through the front of this $1 bill. Now here on the back, normal, no errors taking place, but this banknote here sold for over $5,000. That's right, over $5,000. Now here is a really cool type of error. You would probably never notice something like this. Now you can tell that the bill's definitely been circulated. We see on the back here, it's got some stains and uh, it's not in the worst shape, but uh, it's definitely not in the best shape either. And this bill is from 1995. Now what is gonna make this thing super, super valuable is that it has a mismatched suffix error taking place. So we can see that the serial number here on the left 5057-78276. We see that there on the right side of the bill, it matches. But if we go here to the left, you can see that the serial number starts with A. And then over here on the right side of the bill, it starts with K. And we also got that ending in C and ending in G. 
So if you find any dollar bills that are mismatched, serial numbers or suffix, the letters or the numbers, it is going to give the bill a lot of value. Now this $1 bill here sold for over $4,800. $4,800 because of the mismatch suffix error taking place here. Now here is a double face printing error taking place. Now you can see that it looks like it's like 3D because of the double print taking place. It is on a 1988 $1 bill and this dollar bill sold for over $4,700. 4,700 bucks. Now here's a very expensive $2 bill. I know you guys probably got $2 bills. A lot of people save them when they find them. It is an additional overprint error and we can see that there clearly on the front of the bill, the seal and the serial numbers being overprinted there. And this bill, because of that, sold for over $11,000. So that is a super, super valuable $2 bill there. Speaking of $2 bills, here's another type of error to look for. You see here on the front, it looks very normal, but here on the back, we have an offset printing error. So you can actually see the design of the front here printed on the reverse of the bill. So that is really, really cool. And this $2 bill here sold for over $2,000. $600, $2,600. Back to the $1 bill. Now this is a very obvious error taking place. It is a shifted third printing error taking place here. And we see that with the seal and the serial number not lined up. It has been printed diagonally on the bill. And look at this here on the bottom right. We actually see another serial number there on the bottom right as well. That is really cool. Now this 1974 Federal Reserve note sold for nearly $1,000. Nearly a $1,000 bill. Now here is a really interesting type of $1 bill here. Now this error is definitely weird. Now it took place obviously when the bill was being printed and it looks like there's a bunch of white lines on it, but that's actually a piece of plastic. It's a piece of cellophane that has been uh, obstructed onto the face of the bill. So it is a retained obstruction error taking place on this $1 bill. And because of that, this bill sold for over $4,000. $4,000 and again, nothing going on there on the reverse of the bill. Now here is a older $10 bill and it is a misalignment error. It looks pretty normal here on the front. It's from 1969, but if we go here to the reverse, you can really see uh, how it is misaligned there. So very noticeable type of error. You can look for these on just about any type of bills, newer bills, older bills. Always look for misalignments. Just check both sides of your bills. And this $10 bill sold for over $1,100, $1,100. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I will see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.